Would you guys look at this a minute while I get me a sip here? It's hot. It's perfect. Thank you, honey. Okay, look at this beauty. Look at the abalone shell in there. Here's the back. Back's as pretty as the front. Beautiful. Then you have these Aurora Borealis beads here. These blue beads here are very cold, so they're either stone or glass. It's made to look like stone. Very, very cold. Then you have these pretty gold tone beads. They have a lot of sparkle, I guess a brushed glittery look to them. Very pretty cobalt blue color. I guess that's cobalt blue. What would you call it, honey? Yeah. And let's see what I got going on here. About the same thing as I got going on here. A tangle. There you go. That's the way it's connected. Huh. Your lobster claw, is, claw clasp is down here and it connects to this. I don't know why they didn't put a toggle. I wonder if somebody fixed that. Because I think a toggle would have been pretty coming through here. Or maybe they just didn't want you, they wanted your full, full focus to be on this without the toggle. I don't know, what do you guys think? That's beautiful, I love that. I love the abalone and I love the blue. Yes, I do. Here's some little pearl earrings with French wire. And there's a bonus hair there. All right. Need a little cleaning. In good shape. Success. <clears throat> Love these. Well, this one's beautiful. But this one, it's got some issue. I don't know if it's just dirty or if it has real issues. Yes, it's missing stones everywhere. That's the problem. That one's beautiful. I'd make that as a little charm to a bracelet. Those metal pieces are not magnetic. Those. What, these? Yeah, the rectangle. They're probably brass. Yeah. Because I see some patina on it. And wood. They're different. Yep, different. Need to be cleaned up. A whole lot. Here's some hoops. Oops. Oops. Come on. Side view. Oh, yeah. And what is that? I'm gonna wrestle you. We don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like it was part of an earring or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, there's that, whatever that may be. <clears throat> These are pretty. I like those a lot. Oh, they have extra long post on them, which is, makes it nice. And they're gold tone too. Let me see if I see any markings on these. These almost look artisan made. Still looking, and I'm seeing nada. Okay. I still think these are pretty, and they look. I love the nice long um, 
I didn't check this backing on this one. Let's see if this backing has anything to say. Not on that side. Uh, and they're enameled. I might have one little place nick on that. I'll fix that. I have the right stuff to fix it with. Those are pretty. Okay. These need to go in the bag by themselves. Oh, look at this. And yeah, there's only one of them. <laughs> look at the work done on that. That's beautiful. And there's only one, huh? Yep. Well, you know, that'd make a pretty pendant, too. If you wanted to take it off and make a pendant with it. That's what's fun about designing your own jewelry. Here's some with some feathers. I'd get rid of those feathers because I like the rest of the earring. I'm just not fond of the feathers in this case. They look worn out. Bird was tired of flying. That is not magnetic. This is not magnetic. And it's a very thin gold tone chain. And I'm going to check here. See if we see anything. I see something. Now I need to check it with the loop. I see Italy on that side. I see Italy on that side. Italy, Italy, Italy. Well, let's see what else we can see. Five is on this side and it's on right there. Oh. Italy you can see clearly. Nine two five not so much. But I did loop it and it says nine two five, so that's sterling. Um, right here on the test pile. I don't see any class to this. So this is an infinity necklace. Done again in the, the gunmetal. It's a very long necklace. Geometric and design. That reminds me of the spirograph. I used to draw on the spirograph. Very pretty. These faceted beads here and these smoky quartz color are acrylic. This is metal. And these are metal. They, have, they are textured. I like that. There's that piece. And we're getting down to the bottom of the jar. Okay, very long necklace. It's 
gunmetal in color, I think. Yeah, I think so. And you have metal beads, and then your dark gray and light gray pearl beads. Filigree metal beads again. Different sizes. Oh, this necklace is long. I'm going to double it up here. There you go. Anything else? I want to show you uh, earrings and a Yep, we've got some more of these wooden. Just a chain with magnetic, so. All black rose. Carved. Pearl. Ooh, these are cold. These are glass. That disc is a glass disc. They're very cold. These are cold red earrings. I love red. Did you check to see if any of these were? No. Because uh, this one kind of looks silverish to me. Yeah, it's not sticking. Nope. Try it, try it right there. Nope. Yep. Might want to test that one. Oh, put it in a test bag? Okay. Yeah, just put it in a test bag. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a pretty glass bead on that one. Test it. Oh, I dropped something. A bead or something. Not magnetic. Try that one too. Yeah. Yeah, that one is. <laughs> oh well. No doubt on that one. <laughs> Little poinsettias. Put that. Where's the bag that you got the tester in? See so what? Oh, here it is. Oh. The single earring testing bag. Oh. What I was looking for. Oh, what else am I missing? Anything else? Is that the end of the jar? This right here. Okay. That's magnetic. So, yeah. Okay, this is the last piece. It's magnetic. It's just a plain chain and an antique uh, gold color. Nothing thrilling. But the jar itself I thought was a pretty good jar. Can we put all these in, in one bag? Well, that 19, yeah, put them all in one bag. No, I got a, I got a thing somewhere for single earrings. All the way around here? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just put them in a bag. I'll, I'll fix it in a minute. So that was the end. Oh, no, that's not the end. We forgot these. Look at here. Oh, I didn't forget them. You had them hiding over there. You untangled them. This is N <laughs> NW. It's gunmetal in color. Is it magnetic, honey? Nope. You sure? Nope. Oh, yep. Yep. But slightly. Yeah. Okay. Wanna hang it? I'll hang it. Hang it. And then we had this one. It's very pretty. It's an infinity. But I wanted to show you the bead on this. Look at these. I think these are pretty. And then the pearls. Nice jar. Yeah, that was a nice jar. We liked our jar. It was worth the raffle for sure. Oh, there's the glass right there. It's gunmetal in color. Lobster claw. Mm. Just a real pretty. And I can say that my hands are much cleaner out of these jars than they are the jars I have here. Yeah. I mean, they're not clean, clean, but they're a lot cleaner than what my hands look like when I do these jars that we get here. 
Looks like they're a little bit more, um, they pull stuff maybe that didn't sell singularly, like that. So their nicer jewelry goes in a jar, and that's pretty nice. None of ours are ever marked like that unless it has an original tag from where it's been bought, bought or brought in from. And I think that was it. So you guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, I got this off of Makeup Zombies raffle. And um, it cost me $10, which I think is a fantastic deal. And it's just absolutely, the jewelry in it was beautiful. There was a lot of name brand in it. There was Cookie Lee, there was Leah Sophia, there was J. Cree. Um, <clears throat> there were some silver pieces. Just nice, overall beautiful pieces. So you guys check out her channel. It's called Makeup Zombie. And she has a jewelry showcase auction every Sunday. And I believe it starts at five. Um, Eastern Standard Time on my end. So she's on the other end of the world. <laughs> I think she's three hours different than me, so it's probably two o'clock her time. Anyway, you guys go check out her channel. That's Makeup Zombie. Uh, thank you, Liz. I really love my jar. I love the jewelry I actually bought off your auction, too, that I showed at the beginning of this video. And um, everybody have a blessed night. And I'll see you in the next jury jar opening. Bye. Say bye, Daryl. Bye, Daryl.